So, uh, Cuphead, uh, you seem like the type to enjoy a good prank. Have you ever gotten a good prank over on anyone else in the casino? Ha! <laughs> uh, you would think I'm responsible enough to not prank on people in charge who already hate me. No one would think that. But, you know, when the moment strikes, I just can't help myself. Uh, and shut up, Muggs. You're on with one of them. I, I actually got caught once. <laughs> but he ended up joining in on it. <laughs> I think it was some personal grudge. Huh? <laughs> I would never cross the line, though. Even you glued a Bible to the devil's desk. Uh, my question, Muggs. Also, uh, didn't you end up removing it? No, actually. Wait, what, really? Yeah, the, the glue was too strong. King Dice walked in on me trying to take it off. He couldn't do it either, so we had to sneak out the back with the entire desk. We had to order one to be made to look exactly the same. And then sneak it all the way back in. <laughs> uh, uh, ah! <laughs> you didn't tell him about it, did you? Oh, please. It was obvious. He said he'll make sure there's a special torture chamber in hell waiting for you when you die. Oh, good lord in heaven, please forgive me for my sins. I don't want to go to hell, please. I. Uh, he's, he said there's going to be a torture chamber in hell for me. I don't want to go to hell, please, lord. <laughs> <laughs> that whole story with the boss's desk and stuff. We made it up. We actually managed to get the Bible off. <laughs> what in the- Wait, boss, this- oh. This isn't what- No, 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 this isn't what it looks like! Oh. You little- This is getting what? interesting. No, 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 no. In my casino! Oh, wait, oh, no. No. Boss is gonna kill him! Wait, boss, don't blame Cuphead. This is just because of a prank me and Mr. Dice did. Don't drag Cuphead to hell for this! Oh, come on. It was just getting to the good bit. We- we just made him believe that you had a room for him in hell. <laughs> Cause he glued a Bible to your desk, boss. <laughs> that was a prank! Not funny! Not funny, y'all! Uh. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> oh, hilarious. Did the others try to harm you on your first day working at the casino? Let me at him, Mama Gala! Absolute dolt. A dear Cuphead, I dare you to prank Mugman with airbag cheer. <laughs> a P.S. A good luck with your bro. <laughs> I've planted one from long ago, but he'll just never sit down on it, will he? Oh, I guess I have to leave it there and hope for the best. Later. Oh, jeez. Oh. That was a whoopee cushion I planted long ago. I swear that wasn't an actual fart. Brother, what the f... Has there been any awkward or embarrassing moments when you guys worked here? Uh, hey, you guys, remember us? <laughs> how y'all <you all> going? <laughs> Ooh, uh, how's the family? <laughs> so, Cuphead, uh, Mugman, what kind of drinks are you? How is it working at the casino? Well, we, we change up our drinks every now and then, but for me, it's usually tea or good old moonshine. Though, you know, I try other liquors all the time. Moonshine is all that my head used to be filled with. Uh, these days, I've got more variety. But yeah, I stick with coffee or, you know, gin sometimes. And working in the casino can be, uh, tough. Yeah, especially when the gang didn't really welcome us because of the whole kicking their asses thing. But that's all behind us. We're all friends now, right, guys? <laughs> <laughs> Even though things turned out okay, do you still feel bad about gambling your soul's cup? How long did it take for Muggs to forgive you? Oh, wait, uh, I guess I shouldn't be dwelling on it. I, I mean, things have turned out fine, haven't they? <laughs> we even joke about it sometimes. But man, oh, back then I felt bad. Didn't think you'd ever forgive me. Now get going! Ah! 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 Idea. Money? Money? Okay, I'm sorry. I ah, no, 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 Cuphead! You always do this. You always pull us into danger and then just say sorry. Our lives are at stake now because of your greed and inability to think for once. Hope you're proud of yourself. In fact, I tried convincing him I can fix this myself. 
went out and got the first few contracts myself. Uh, but of course. Uh... <sighs> oh. Huh. <sighs> How is it having King Dice and the Devil as bosses? <laughs> those to table one, those to table three, and that to the roulette table. Cut the day and place it down uh, that way. Yeah. And so <laughs> everything's connected, and uh, nothing is, is also connected. No. Who's winning? They're much less intimidating nowadays. Uh, uh, King Dice is okay. still a trick, though. Hey, Devil! You ever heard of a certain dancing demon? A little devil, darling? A bendy tea dancing demon? Huh. I appreciate the blasphemy, but I have no time for cartoons. You know, he, he beats up an angel in the next scene. I suddenly have time. King Dyth, do you enjoy teaching the birth card tricks? I only teach Mugman, and, uh, well, I guess it's a nice way to pass the time. Uh, I know he'll find it useful. Oh! Ah. Uh, uh. Hey, uh, Mugman, uh, how, how'd you get that chip in your handle? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, didn't dodge fast enough is, is how. Is that a crack on Cuphead's arm? How exactly did he get that? <laughs> it couldn't find all the pieces, so it never properly healed, but hey, it looks kind of cool, don't you think? Like a battle scar. Ooh, makes me look badass. Oh, uh, whatever makes you happy, yeah, brother. Oh, so cool. Yeah. Look at it. Yeah. Oh, it hurt like literal hell, though. King Dice, how did you wind up in the Devil's Casino? <sighs> <sighs> It was a matter of life or death situation. You two have any baby photos you guys can share? I bet you two were the cutest little sippy cups. Uh, no baby photos, but there are some of us as kids. Uh, hang on. Wait, uh, pick one that ain't embarrassing. Ooh, uh, there's this one. Can you even remember what this one is about? Nope. Yeah, me neither. Oh look, it's you on your way to becoming a dish of destruction. Hell yeah! And it's you with... Uh, Elder Kittle. <laughs> what do King Dice and the Devil think of Elder Kettle? How is Cuphead and Mugman's relationship with him? He was... A fear man. I met him only once. He never cheat, hated lying. Good heart, really. A care and relationship they uh, had. What does Elder Kettle think of you two working in the Devil's Casino? Your boys, don't you ever thought on Elder Kettle? Don't you ever thought on coming back Thank home? Thank you so much for answering, but I would ask one more question. How is Elder Kettle? Elder Kettle, uh, passed away long before we worked here. Hey guys, uh, since Valentine's Day is only a few weeks away, or only a few weeks ago, on a scale of 1 to 10, how good are your flirting skills? Do you think you'll get chocolates? Uh, my number is so low in the negatives, it's below hell itself. I am way too nervous to properly flirt, so it would probably be as low as a 3. <laughs> I've got strangers willing to give their money, houses, and damn souls for as much as a kiss. I think that's well over a 10. I don't, I don't do, do flirting, uh, more, more like, like seductive, seductive spells, spells, or curses. <laughs> well, hey kids, uh, <laughs> oh, you want some free weed? It's medical, I swear, I'm just, I'm just a good guy, trust me. <laughs> just don't tell anyone I gave it to you. Nah, I'm all good, Chip's already got me some. <laughs> Wait, did you just call us kids? 
What would happen if Cups and Mugs pretended to be each other for a day? You know, like switched clothes and acted like each other. How many people would they be able to fool? So I gotta act all no fun and quiet and stuff. Oh man, I wanna roll my sleeves up already. So I'm gonna have to act all carefree, rash and loud. So basically relax and take it easy, okay? Mang? Uh, man, oh, is there something up with them too or am I just seeing things? <laughs> I'm always seeing things, <gasps> Ooh, so I can't uh, tell. Did the twerps switch noses or something? What if they uh, uh, switched entire bodies? Uh! Oh, they switched clothes, you idiots. They're just playing another dumb joke. Again? Mugman! Shuffle this deck for us, would ya? Uh, uh, Go on. <laughs> you can use the method I taught you yesterday. I know how much you would love to show it off. Uh. Wait, uh, Mugman likes to show off how he shuffles cards. Oh, well, wait! I mean, ha! <laughs> Busted! <laughs> and there you have it. Damn it! <laughs> two questions. One, if you can use those little electric buzzers to make the devil puff up. Two would be using a canister of hairspray anywhere near Mr. Wheezy. Will he essentially turn into a flamethrower? Uh, FYI, I would test these two in the same vicinity of each other. <laughs> well, if Boss's fur obeys the laws of science, then surely he would. As for Mr. Wheezy, he only lights up when he's mad, and I really don't like getting him mad, but maybe if he got angry enough, then, uh, well, I guess, uh... Brother? No, It was Cuphead. nice growing up with Cuphead, you, but you I must not... find out. Cuphead, I'm not letting you get yourself fired today. It's for science. Cuphead, I swear! I don't know why, but all I can see is Cuphead dabbing for no reason at his work. Cuphead, if you drop all of that for some dumb joke, Boss is gonna use you as an ashtray. Mugman, Cuphead, what did you do with your first paycheck? Kept it away from Cuphead. I never even got to hold it! Hey Cuphead, Mugman, best impression of your favorite person at the casino? You mean, besides each other? Well, <laughs> I don't really want to pick favorites, but... Uh... <laughs> Hey guys, Mangostein <laughs> here. What are you doing? Tell me everything you're doing. Wait, uh, no, don't tell me. I'll predict it with my powers of future vision, which totally work every time. Him. <laughs> Ooh, I am Pirouetta, <laughs> and as you're surely noticed, my name is a pun, even though I hate puns, and my style is Russian. <laughs> Very <Whoa>. Russian. <laughs> Ooh, say, uh, pass me <laughs> another. <laughs> A bottle? Wait, no! Give me all of the bar supplies, I'll drink it all! <laughs> I can't even tell which one of the Tipsy Troop that is. Uh, that wasn't the Tipsy Troop. Eh? That was you. What? Excuse me? I was wondering, how do the characters with objects for heads take care of themselves? Like, does King Dice polish his head and Mugman and Cuphead scrub their cups down? Do they empty their heads and wash in there too? I am so confused. I'm asking the characters with objects for heads. It ain't that special, uh, except you got no neck. And you can do this! And this! There ain't anything special in my procedures, but if you count cosmetics as uh, polishing, well then sure. Yeah, we basically scrub ourselves, but hey, how else are we gonna do it? And yeah, we do empty our heads. But we're never completely empty, because once everything is removed, our souls start to show. And that what you said right there is why I don't want to fall asleep around here. Kind of why we usually have our heads filled with tea or coffee. Though you did fall asleep once when you came to work with alcohol instead of tea and... Yeah, and then I woke up bodiless, drowning in the sink. I think it was the tipsy troop that... Did uh... they actually <laughs> think I was one of the casino's dishes? Are they blind or something? Like, what? Just... Well, they're constantly <laughs> drunk, that's for sure. <laughs> Hey, uh, yo, Cuphead, uh, Cuphead, uh, ever wonder if King Dice's head spins since, well, you know, it levitates off his neck? Or better yet, if you hit it, can you roll his head to get a number? Roll uh, dice! <laughs> <laughs> yep, his head does in fact spin. <laughs> and the number you get is two minutes to clean up this mess before the boss gets here. Since the two are dealing with a silky chicken, I believe this would be a fun fact for Cuphead and Mugman to know. Hey, did you know that a chicken can live without its head for a long time? There was this one chicken that lived for 18 months without its head. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, but, but how? <laughs> so? They ain't special. I can live without my head too. <laughs> anyway, headless or not, I better go find it. You can live without a head? Why, that's just swell. Eh? 
Because I always wanted to do this! Wait! No! Mugman! Save me! So, Cop, how's it going on the test with the devil and the cigar? So, Cuphead, uh, how did the experiments go with, uh, you know, Wheezy and the Devil? Come in, uh, do it for the vine! Sorry, guys, Mugman won't let me do it. Clearly, he has no respect for science. I have respect for our bosses and the fact that they will kill you. Has the devil been in tantrums before? If so, he'll usually calm them down. Oh, love your channel. The closest to a tantrum we've ever seen him at work is when he got mad at some guy. Thought he was gonna kill the poor fella for sure. Didn't he chop the guy's hand off or something? I don't know, I wasn't around for that bit. Well, glad I wasn't actually. Uh, anyway, according to some of the crew, he'll throw a tantrum every now and then, but never in front of the patrons. And apparently the only ones that can calm him down are the imps or Mr. Dice. He sure did throw a tantrum when we defeated him. Whatever his tantrums are, he can't get any worse than what we've already seen him as. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Can he? Hey, uh, for Cuphead and Mugman, uh, out of curiosity, what is the most embarrassing thing you've ever seen King Dice or the Devil do? Have you <laughs> ever <laughs> met that funny <laughs> reaper man? <laughs> oh my god, is this real? <laughs> Half of the bow supplies were gone that night. I think you're forgetting something. <laughs> hey, Mugman, <laughs> you seeing this? <laughs> you are in Pennsylvania. Oh, you know you <laughs> Talking to the reefer. Da, screw it. Man. Reefer man. Hey, Cuphead, what would you do if it rained money? <laughs> Whip! Money rain! <laughs> this includes devil and dice. Ha! <laughs> he! Wink! Huh? What? <laughs> 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 oh, that's cute. Have you ever tried a scaring prank, uh, like on Dice or Devil? Nah, but I've been wanting to do one, as payback for the ones they've done. <laughs> yeah, the, the Devil likes to do his, uh, shape-shifting tricks sometimes. What the? Why is there a picture of me here? <laughs> How was that for a prank? Terrible! I hate you! Wait, did King Dice also do something? Well, uh, it wasn't just him. Hey, Cuphead! Huh? Wanna see something you like? <laughs> Burning? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, oh, relax! What's, it's what vague. is wrong with you lot? <laughs> oh. I wanna see Cuphead flirt. I'll give you $50 if you do your best. <laughs> Cuphead, think of something. You need that 50, come on. Use your head, you idiot. Can I offer you a drink? Top on the menu is me. <laughs> oh, that was agonizing. 50 bucks? Good <laughs> effort. That yeah. wasn't worth 50 cents. <laughs> so can I have my money now? Hey, Mr. King Dice and Cuphead, what do you two feel about your ship? And uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about there... <laughs> this is an insult to art and to me. I can't even look at you after that. <laughs> Will Cuppy to Mr. Wheezy insert the triggered meme if I say that I hate smoking and smells terrible? I'm definitely going to die if I smell once more. I agree with you. Smoking is terrible. Eh, suit yourself. Bleh, dies in. Why is Cuphead so damn hot? And why is Mugman so damn cute? And also, why is King Die so awesome? You mean like, hot as in the tea in my head? Or do you actually think I'm... Uh... I should hope that's what they meant. Else I'm concerned for their standards. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, I am concerned for their standards if they think you're awesome. Uh, Quite sure you need to have actual standards before you judge someone else's. So am I the only one who's actually thanking them? Favorite types of music. Da 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 for the Capros Dice and Devil. Da 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 da. I listen to all kinds of music. Uh, personally, I enjoy classics, uh, blues, swing. Swing. Big band, uh, namely my one. <laughs> hmm. My music. 
Have the Cupbooth tried any other job? Yeah, plenty of them. And all were pretty damn boring. Even though a lot of them were basically the same as what we have now, uh, but there was always something uh, missing, you know? You all got cars? If so, what do our main four drive? We've got about six, but here's one of them. Now only if you could get out of hell more often. Oh, remember that nice car I had for about 20 minutes? You mean the one from that night you got drunk and stole from some lady and then crashed it into her ex's yard? Yeah, that one! Right, and uh, to actually answer the question, no, we do not have cars. So, when the devil turns his head into a spider, white light shines out of his neck, uh, is that what's truly inside of him? Does it show through his wounds if he takes enough damage? He still does it sometimes, <laughs> it's pretty cool. No, no it isn't. <laughs> I asked him once why does it shine so much out of his neck when he takes his head off, and he replied with, Why does it bleed so much when I chopped your hand off, bastard? Though, you know, if I remember correctly, during our battle, uh, the light would also shine out of some of the wounds. Maybe the ones not so covered in blood. Yeah, uh, you remember his eye? Oh yeah, uh, that one's on me. You know, maybe I'll try asking him next time. Oh, well, careful he doesn't scare you again. <laughs> Do you think it hurts when he literally rips his head off? Uh, you can ask him that too, I guess. <laughs> What's everyone's search history? <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> I'm not really sure what you mean, but uh, I like history if it counts. a pit and mug man what's your reaction to das's theme song yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> did he write his own uh, theme song you can head on over to the next dial plenty more marks for you to lean on there oh. huh. <sighs> what a prick right mugs mm-hmm the game is dinner land. Some mugs is like the tipsy troop when he drinks. What's cups like when he's drunk? Mugman's only like that on a lucky day. Uh, can we not uh, talk about this? Because usually when he gets drunk, he just becomes really sad and cries a lot. Yeah? Well, you just end up doing crazy when you're drunk. I do crazy when I'm not drunk. <laughs> this one time you somehow snuck onto the theater and got on stage in the middle of Mrs. Stage Play's performance and stole the role of Hamlet. To gamble or not to gamble? Again? You came home with a stolen costume and a trophy for best performance. I'm back from work. Huh? <laughs> well, hey, that makes two plays of hers I interrupted and made better. She should be thanking me. Another time you stole Dr. Carl's robot and used it to take Captain Briny Bear's ship around the city. <laughs> My son! <laughs> oh, please. She had fun. And the other time you went missing for the entire night, and the next day I found you in a hidden chamber of the temple reciting some sort of chant. Reverses atom ab injus brutus non fatabre. Well, hey, I found the hidden chamber, right? So, you're welcome. Uh, Cuphead, you're missing the point as usual. If you guys don't mind, you two live in your own apartment, right? What happened to Elder Kettle's house? Did you sell it or something? Yeah, we moved into an apartment in Inkwell City. It's closer to work and we couldn't stay hiding in the woods forever. The thought of selling it, uh, crossed our minds. But we decided we don't want to just give it away like that. So we kept it there, just in case. We took some things and furniture with us, though. Anything we rarely needed. We haven't visited the woods in ages now. What do you all do in your spare time? Uh, whatever we want. It depends whether you're asking about work hours or in general. Mugman likes to hang out in the library a lot. What about it? I'm beginning to confuse spare time with work. Hey devil! Mind giving us the story behind the contract Dyson you have? <laughs> Which one? The one to become my manager, or the one to give up his soul to me? Because for both of them, there isn't that much of a story. Uh, but let me think. You know, 
I like seeing that sinners are given what they deserve. For whatever they took from the world, the world will take back more. It's justice. Never have I thought that this contract would actually hand the whole world to him on a silver platter. But before it could even remotely come to that, he had to pay. I knew that better than anyone. Bastard out cheated me in a game, just like he did with every sucker in that casino. But they deserved to know, don't you think? And what did he deserve? They decided a bullet hole. I decided the spot in my casino. He had only a few minutes to decide whether he was going to die in that alleyway, or come with me. Either way, he was bound for hell. But hell can mean many things. Hey, King Dice! Do you and the Cup Brothers have a secret Platonic. relationship? As in you're nice and have a soft spot for him. Or are you a mean boss all the time? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, you wanna know, wanna something, know something funny? funny, funny. I might have put something in the Mike Men's drink. Really? Yeah, cheers to that too. Cheers to that. Oh, believe me, those two don't need a soft spot for me. But I mean, boss? Why, I beg to differ. I think that I'm a very fair boss. Fair? You're right. Do the brothers remember anything about their parents? Maybe Elder Kettle shared something. Also, who are Cuphead and Mugman's favorite co-workers? Beside each other, lol. No, honestly, I'm not sure if they ever even existed at this point. We never even really asked about him. Uh, never had to. And now we might, uh, never know. So what? It doesn't even matter. Anyways, uh, moving on. Favorite co-workers, you say? Uh, mine are Chips and Mangs. They're fun to hang around. I... I guess that would be Pirouetta and, uh, Pachinko. Who the heck's Pachinko? Why does no one know who Pachinko is? Have the cup wrote any pets? And if not, which pets would they want? Mm. We never really had any pets, but, uh... We have this little guy. Pretty sure he's one of Cagney's daisies. No clue what he's doing in the city. I thought they hated it here. Well, he wasn't very happy when he first, uh, <laughs> let himself into our apartment. He refuses to go outside, so he just kinda lives with us now. Runs around the place and sleeps in what used to be a huge plant pot. Oh, I wish he could speak. We could ask him where Cagney's at. Haven't seen that guy in ages now. <gasps> what if he's in town? It would explain why this fella is here. Oh, I feel like if he was, then this fella wouldn't be so afraid to go outside. Wonder what spooked him so much. And what happened to his, uh, pedal? Well, you know how it is here in the big city. <laughs> and we used to think the woods were the most dangerous place. Yeah, they were. Because we used to live there. <coughs> eh? Huh? Uh, what you doing with that? Uh, wait, what? <laughs> no. No, I, I don't want that. No. <sighs> Did you know that the heart, spade, clover, and diamond from playing cards have a meaning? Heart equals love, no duh. Clover equals good health, diamond equals wealth, and the spade equals death. Since your boss gave you those clothes, do you think he gave you those specific marks for a reason? So basically, money and riches. Oh, hell yeah! This can only mean good things! Ha <laughs> ha, cha-ching! Death, huh? Uh... <laughs> Though, huh? didn't the boss put them on us because they were on our super meter? Actually, that only makes it better! <laughs> <laughs> I guess he likes to pay attention to detail. <laughs> you know that ain't all they mean, right? What? Wait, wait, wait. Devil, what is your plan for the bros? What is Calix Amani, hmm? I'm curious. What was the initial plan that the Devil and Dice had before they became fond of the brothers? The Calix Amani is an ancient society which along with three others, was in hold of powers that some consider to be rather... heavenly. That's what made them stand out so much in the first place. Why, I just had to have them, if I could have gotten my hands on that power. Well... Oh, but I can kiss that fantasy goodbye now that it turns out their powers wore off long ago. It's long gone. Hardly anything left of it. Like the brothers. Those two are descendants of that power, and are the only ones left that can wield it. You know, not every kind of magic can defeat a demigod, but a magic of such light, 
A magic that can manipulate the soul and can turn it into a weapon! Ooh. Guess I'm back to chasing after that damn chalice! King Dice, have you ever surprised Cuphead doing something naughty? <laughs> so you <gasps> do cheat! Um. Hey, cups and mugs! Did you guys freak out whenever each other would get hurt finding dinners? Did we freak out? Ugh, we were terrified! It was also scary that we began getting used to it. And how we got used to seeing each other's souls fly out of our bloody corpses. <laughs> Actually, uh, Scratch that. I still have nightmares about seeing your soul leave your body for the first time. I still have nightmares about your head splitting open and your hand flying off. In fact, I'll admit, I still have nightmares about Satan. Dude, seriously? I dare Mugman to hide behind Cuphead's back and scare him. <laughs> United States, Canada, Mexico, Panama, Haiti, Jamaica, Peru... Ah! 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 Mugs, tell Pachinko I love them the next time you see him. Mugs, I get ya! I friggin' love Pachinko! Wonder what happened to that fella! Hey! Pachinko! They love you! Huh? <laughs> Pachinko's great! He doesn't talk much, so that's probably why most don't know him. Miss Pirouetta introduced him to me. He kinda clings to her a lot of the time. Wonder what happened to everyone in this casino. Hmm. I think Cuphead would look good in pink. Huh? Uh... Harry! Oh, oh no! I'm sorry. <laughs> Damn reflexes. Again? Who oh, you guys playing any games? Spend any time gambling? Well, yeah, we work in a casino after all. Though it's not all gambling, fortunately. Anything's a game, really. Well, with you, everything's a gamble, that's for sure. Wouldn't it just be interesting to see how Dice just hugs Cuphead? What was that? <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't hear you. So Dice, what do the spade and the diamond represent then? So you really want to know, eh? Mm. I do. Uh, yeah, me too. Alright. Well, diamonds are, sure, money, wealth, riches. But on top of all that, diamonds represent the material world and practicalities. What? Things like your job, home, finances, you know, the stuff you don't know how to manage. <laughs> hey! And yes, uh, wealth and riches too. Can also mean family, if you please. Folks of diamonds are people that like to assign and seek value or worth in things, places, people, including themselves. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Whatever your moonshine-filled head thinks it means. You're the one that gives meaning to things. Well, the meaning it gave me is nickels and dimes. That's good enough for me. Of course it is. All right, all right. Uh, what about, um, spades? Spades are about, well, death, illness, uh... loss. As well as intellect, wisdom, and communication. Huh? They're the brains of the dick. The ones that use experience to move past hardships in life, such as, well, death and loss, for example. While diamonds are about material objects, spades focus on mentality. Thanks to that, they also make rather good lies. No. <laughs> really fits, eh? <laughs> Makes you think about those supers, doesn't it? And that's just the meaning of the suits themselves. Each card, dependent on the suit, number, or court, has an entire business of its own. Are you gonna tell us about them? Now? No. I've humored you enough for today. I've got other people to deal cards for. What?! But you've just got me all curious. How come you know all this stuff? Is it just your thing? I used to scam people out of their money with this stuff. So, King Dice, how do you think it would have gone if the boys had given the devil the soul contracts back when they played against him? Well, one by one, the debtors would be dragged down to hell. And as for the brothers, uh, depending on their sins and the bloodshed they caused, Boss said they would turn into, well, demons. Similar to yours truly, perhaps. Uh, but then again, Boss wouldn't have found out about how powerful the two really are. Maybe it's best he knows what they can do. Still, would have been interesting to see if he was right about the whole... Calyx Anemi thing. How often do you two visit Elder Kettle's grave? Do you bring flowers and pray? Haven't visited in a long while. Not enough time. But we know there are people looking over it, so... 
Why do you want to know anyway? Do you all enjoy the job there? Any good times? Hell yeah. <laughs> Dice, have you ever felt the need to protect, defend, or at least stick up for one of the boys on the job? And if you have, uh, what was the incident? <laughs> Believe me when I say this, my protection is the last thing those two need. But every now and then I have to step in and stop Wheezy or Hocus from making a scene or starting a fight with them. Bad for business. And that's not just it. There's always a goon or a demon out there that wants those brothers in their grasp. Everyone wants to take on the two souls that fought the devil and won. Most of them are rather, uh, surprised when they finally meet the two. I sometimes have to be the one to stop them from saying yes to something stupid. To save everyone the trouble. They never really notice what I'm doing. It's probably best like that. Cuphead, could you sing True Colors from Justin Timberlake? It's hard to take courage in a world full of people that you can lose sight of it all. <laughs> this is the crap you want me to sing. Couldn't you have chosen something less sappy? Wait, what's happening over there? Cuphead's gonna sing for us! What? No, I never- He even got a song request! No, no wait, I- Ugh, Come on, Cup! Sing for us then! What? No! Yay! Everyone, Cuphead's gonna sing for us! I ain't gonna- it better be good! I never said I'd do it! Please don't. Oh, sorry. I must have misheard. Ah! Now's my chance! A Cuphead, Mugman, have you ever gone on a date with anyone? If so, did you enjoy the person's company? Well, I, uh... Neither of us have ever been on dates. Which is a little disappointing for our age. Really? I'd call it an achievement. Hello, Cup and Mug, what are your favorite kinds of food and drinks? Both non-alcoholic and, uh, if you drink it, which I think you do, alcoholic drinks. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's honestly kind of a hard question. There's a lot to choose from. But I guess there's this bakery down the road that's got the best stuff. Oh, especially the pretzels. As for drinks, uh, I like sweet ones. Uh, cola's pretty good. And of course... Hmm. I can't really decide, but... Uh... Oh, alright, so I don't mean to advertise or anything, but the casino serves this gourmet steak and salad, and I tried it, like, once, but it's probably one of the best things I ever ate. And drinks, uh... Well, I guess I like hot chocolate, and, well, water. It's the only real healthy drink around. I also really like some of the casino's cocktails. <laughs> Though, with alcohol, I don't really want to pick favorites. I kind of want to lay low on the alcohol now. Uh, hey, Cup Bros, have you ever experienced being the victim of a prank from the other casino staffs? I guess, uh, but their pranks are more like flat-out murder attempts. Occasionally someone will try to trip us during work, or run at us with a saw in hand. They don't do it as much anymore. <laughs> Probably afraid I'll turn the tables on them again. Actually, they're afraid of making King Dice mad. King Dice? Do you consider the Cup Bros like brothers? Or just annoying employees? Friends? Nuisances. Sworn enemies! Boys, what's the meanest thing you guys have done since working at the casino? Uh, not taking soul contracts, I hope, or conning peeps out of their money. Looking at you, Cuphead, but Mugs ain't innocent neither. I wish. If only. But as far as I know, Mr. Dice takes care of the contracts and the, uh, conning people out of their money. We're just waiters after all. But you know, there's all of Cuphead's pranks. H hey, hey, and your prank too. I won't forget that one. Quas, quas, heal your family like this. Bound for hell.
But on a serious note, I want to know how the devil became, well, the devil. Also, devil, you are red as hell. Inside, I was always the devil. It's just that I sometimes kept my mouth shut. And other times, I didn't. Cuprose, if you could travel back any time of your life, where and why would you travel? Breakout, you're awesome! Woo! <laughs> mm. Hard to say. Uh, Mugman, uh, where should we go? Oh, way back. Be young and dumb again. You talk like some old guy. We're still young and dumb, Gramps. You are. I'm just young. Wow! Okay! Thanks, smartass! <laughs> Whatever, I would go back to when we freed everyone and had that huge celebration. Oh yeah, everyone got together. Even Carla and Briny Bad got along for the day. <laughs> far enough back for your wise guy? Yeah, yeah, back far enough. Back to the woods. Back to Elder Kittle. Chalice. Quick! Cuphead, Mugman, Devil, and King Guy's favorite number and color! Huh? Um, uh, seven and red! Okay, um, uh, three and, uh, blue. Which I thought was obvious. Oh, jeez, slow down there. What's the rush? Surprising to no one, favorite color is purple. The royal kind. If I give you my favorite numbers, I might accidentally give away the secret best bets. Slow down, are you being chased or something? You know, I've had plenty of millennia to think about it, but I still can't really decide. I guess I'll say the color of gold. As for the number... Um. Uh, mm. 25! No! Yes! He didn't say 666! I win! <laughs> what? Cup it? Is your phone number your favorite number two or something? It's supposed to be 666! Why isn't it 666? Ugh. How are you guys? How many pranks did Cuphead do for April Fools? We're alright, I think. Busy now and then, but alright. They put me on cleaning duty for the entire day. They hoped it would keep me away from pranks. Oh, they hoped. I lost count how many. Devil, does King Dice know that you used to be an angel? If so, what did he think or say about it? He knows. It's a regrettably well-known fact. And, well, there isn't much to say on it except for... Oh, f*** happens. At least he didn't assume I wanted to be one again. Two Cuphead und Mugman, what would happen if one of you got sick? Would your brother take the day off to care for you? Or would he cover your shift? I can't work two shifts. I can hardly work my own. Alright, guess I'll make sure never to get sick. Though, if we got sick, wouldn't the devil just heal us up with black magic or something? Uh, I doubt it. He would probably just send us back home. But, you know, even if you got sick, I still don't think I would ever leave you out of sight. What? You think sick me, wrapped in a blanket, thermometer in my mouth, boiling tea would run off and cause havoc? I bet I could, actually. <laughs> so what's the best task and the worst task that you've had to do with the casino? Hmm, uh, worst task, uh, cleaning duty. Agreed. But the best task? Let me tell you, one hell of a task. Turns out there's much more to being a waiter in the Devil's Casino than we thought. <laughs> Do you have any family? If so, did you ever miss them at all? Just gonna say I love this artist, I love. Also, just gonna say to the artist, I love your work, man, keep it up! Hmm... I had a family, yes. Most of them are probably off burning in hell, but that's nothing new. Because the thing is that my relatives weren't the kind of people you would miss. Uh... But you know what? Family doesn't have to stop at relatives.
Hey, uh, Mr. King Dice, uh, what was your cousin like? Was she a dice too? Damn, it's definitely been a while since I've tried thinking this far back. She was kind for a dice. Uh, Minnie was her name. Mr. King Dice, what do you mean by your cousin being a good liar for your sake? I mean that if it wasn't for the many, many times she had to lie at gunpoint to get me out of the many, many messes I got myself into, yours truly would have ended up with a bullet in his head at the age of eight. And even with the many, many times when I promised her that I would pay her back, I was never able to do it. Okay, that's enough strolls down memory lane. I've lost count of how many drinks I've had. Well now, I didn't expect you to be moping around at the bar. Where's that smile of yours? Did you lose it in a game of cards? Funny you should mention, I think I left it with your rags in the gutter after your game. Oh, too soon? Not one minute together and you're already fighting amongst each other. Oh. Hey there, Lucy. Been wondering when I'd get to see you again. With that mouth, I'm surprised he hasn't sent you to hell yet. Enough, both of you. My office now. Yes, yes boss. boss. So, what does bring you here anyways, Jack? What? Can't I come by and visit my old pals? Even I know not to believe those words. Well, I guess I came by to deposit some contracts for you, boss. The city's underworld sure does have its supply of souls ready to sign. This seems a little light. What happened to the rest? Most of them didn't want to pay. Had to learn another way. You didn't kill them, did- Kill them? No! I just wanted them to taste what hell is really like. But what can you expect from the devil's left-hand man after all? Hmm. This might be a sensitive topic for you guys. Um, cups and mugs, but, uh... How did you react when Elder Kettle died? Yeah, why are you asking us that? How do you expect? Well, we were... We were devastated, obviously. We didn't know what to do. There was nothing we could do. He was old and sick, and we could hardly afford a proper doctor, and... I understood that those things happened, but... Cuphead didn't, at first. It's like he refused to move on. But it's just something you accept. And it was scary, being on our own. It was around the time Chalice disappeared as well. But at least we still had our friends. Even though Cuphead always refused to accept help. But things got better, you know? Because no matter what, Life goes on. How does Muggs feel about Cop being a fucking idiot? I manage. And don't call him that. Only I can do that. Does any of the crew know Jelly the Octopus? Who? Jelly? Who? I don't. Jelly. Jelly... Oh wait, I know Jelly! Yeah? Yeah, oh, kinda. Cat Brinybeard once told me about how one day he was just walking around his dick when something dropped from the sky. At first he thought it was an alien, but it turned out to be what he called a weird looking jellyfish with a clown makeover. And it said that its name is Jelly, and he lives on an airship in the sky, out of which he fell right into the captain's ship. They kept him prisoner for a while, but now they're showing him around the sea in town, because apparently he's never been on Earth before. Uh, wow. Maybe they should get in touch with Hilda or Grimm. They know the skies well, uh, maybe they know something about this airship. Uh-huh. Wow. The world we live in. Mm-hmm. Hey, Devil! Has it ever happened to you that someone trampled your tail by mistake? Oh, yes. I then flung whoever did it across the room. By mistake. For King Dice! Have you ever had to use violence against a visitor, other than the cutthroats? Back before I was manager, uh, yes. Every now and then, a troublemaker would show up and start a drunk argument. 
or a gunfight. Nowadays, I don't have to get my hands as dirty. Leave that to the bouncers. Hey, Devil! Do you have any hobbies or interests? Over the many years I've existed, I might as well have picked up and dropped a whole lot of hobbies. Used to be insanely into calligraphy. But the interests that stayed with me all this time would include... Hmm... Torture, gambling, music, mortals, ruling, collecting souls, and other various pretty things. Uh, eating, sleeping. You two ever wonder what it would be like to be conjoined twins? I know these two girls who went through something similar. Like Pip and Dot. That would be... Really weird. And inconvenient. Things are usually harder for twins like that. Most die at birth. But... But... How does it work? Would we have to drag each other around? No, or... honestly, I get dragged into all of your shenanigans anyway. So that part wouldn't really change. Uh, true. Fave time of day for the main four! Uh, I don't know. Whenever my shift ends? For me, I like late evenings. Uh, maybe starting around 8 or 9 p.m. Oh yeah, you always stayed up. Hey, I'm a night owl. What can I say? It's why I like the night shift more. Uh, plus, the casino's just better at night. Yeah, and I have to go on the night shift with you! For once, I get to drag you into something. Yeah, work, out of all things! Actually, you know what time I like? Early mornings, like 6am, early. When the sun's just up and hardly anyone's up. Ugh. Morning? Really? Personally, I prefer the night over day. Or at least, the late evening. When everyone in the city, which itself is better at night, finishes work and lumbers on over into the casino to gamble and get drunk to forget the day. Time works a little differently down in the deeper layers of hell, but up here... Hmm... Let's say... From midnight until the day itself. Even though down here it really doesn't make a difference. King Dice, when did you start working at the casino? What did you do? Have you ever made cocktails? Well, I started working here about six years ago as a dealer. But I would also find myself on the stage, or helping at the bar. And, yes, I've made cocktails and other beverages long before I even worked here. Uh... Ugh. Cuphead, Cuphead, you're not- you're doing it wrong! What? How?! Hey, Divs! Uh, what do you and Dice do for fun? Uh, do you two do fun stuff? Or... hang out? At all? Hmm... Uh, nope. Our relationship is strictly personal. Absolutely. Only on business. That's right. Hmm. Actually, you know what? I think I'll have this one. <laughs> so, is the devil a crybaby? As far as I am and everyone else in the casino is concerned, yes. Yes, he is. Could you? He sure was when we defeated him. Maybe not. Under all of that menacing exterior, oh, like you wouldn't Attack believe. Attack me like this? Oh, wow! <laughs> so that's how it is! <laughs> Sorry, boss. Just know that I have the power to kill everyone in this room! <laughs> I have the power to hurl you all into the sun if I wanted to! Oh, come on, no shame in it. Come on, come here. Sorry, Bielsa, boss. I have the power to... <laughs> No shame. No need for me. <laughs> to the devil. Why did you open a casino in the first place? It's a good way to lure in prey. At a time like this, plenty of want a place to be as greedy and unlawful as their souls desire, and I, as generous as I can be, am willing to give it to them. Besides, who doesn't like seeing what Horizons mortals are willing to take their chances? It's art to me. Helps me keep my mind off... other things. So, King Dice. Your new eyes let you see what a person's soul is like, right? What do you see if you look at the devil? Well, 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 somebody did their homework. Yes, 
A bonus of the contract I signed to become manager was that I would be given eyes that used to belong to a demon, granting me the power to look inside people's souls. Can't see everything, of course, mostly just their most guilty desires, but it's more than enough to make the job easier and much, much more interesting. And, well, I'll admit one day curiosity got the better of me, and I thought, what if I took a glance at the devil himself? And well, honestly, I wasn't even surprised. He doesn't have a soul. So when I decided to take a look, I just saw him looking back. Dice, why did you ever go to the casino in the first place? And do you still like it there? Why did I go to the casino? Well, I made a deal. I didn't exactly have a choice not to go. Of course, back then I thought it would be terrible. I thought I was just gonna be mincemeat for the demons working under the monstrous devil. But no, I was a dealer and the devil turned out to be just a boss hiring employees. In his own way. <laughs> and if you play your cards right, you learn to love the place. I did, and hell, I fixed the place up. It was tasteless before I showed up. For which, you're welcome, by the way. Oh, what would I do without you, King? <laughs> Cuphead and Mugman, how do you and all of the bosses get along nowadays? Especially like Dr. Call, Wally, The Phantom Express, Briny Beard, etc. What happened to them? Ugh, we might as well be friends with them. Well, most of them. <laughs> Wally's doing alright, I think. He's kind of a grump most of the time, but his son is pretty cool. Oh yeah, turns out me and Wally Jr. read the same comic series. Oh, he always comes up with theories on it, especially theories about how to bring all the science fiction stuff into real life. He says the series is the main inspiration behind his studies. <laughs> Nerds! The Phantom Express we haven't seen in a while, they're always moving. Yeah, because according to the Accurse, as soon as the train stops, they'll stop being undead ghosts and fully move on to the afterlife. Yeah. For all we know, the train might have already stopped. Me and Briny Beard are buds as well. He tells me about his adventures and battles and treasures and everything. Him and his crew are so awesome. <laughs> He's alright, I guess. Maybe one day he'll take us with him. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Carl, though, I, I am a big fan of his work, let me tell you. I feel like a few of his wires are a bit screwed. I do like his robot, though. He actually let me be his assistant for a small while. I gotta learn so many things. You mean he let you be his lab rat? I practically had to rescue him before he turned into some Frankenstein's monster. I was only helping him with some tests. Devil doesn't usually wear clothes. Does he only wear them on special occasions? Or whenever dice makes me. Oh come on, even other demons wear clothing. Besides, you look good in these. <laughs> yeah... so? Mr. Wheezy, have you actually tried to get along with Cuphead and Mugman? I mean, you can't be mad at them forever. Ha! Can't be mad at them forever? Bet I can! Well, I bet you can't! Oh really? What you betting? Uh... All of my salary for the next six months! What about you? Oh yeah? Well I bet my entire car! Deal! Deal! I'm going to hate you until the day I finally die! We are gonna be absolute besties! Cuphead. Mugman. Try as I might, I cannot figure out how your internal organs work. You appear to breathe through your mouth and nose, but you don't have a neck? So where does the oxygen go? Does it teleport? You have red blood cells, so I know oxygen gets to your lungs somehow. Your heads are hollow, but where is your brain? I assume at least Mugman has one. What happens to food when you eat? Do you even need to eat? Are your eyes just painted on? I'm embarrassed on behalf of modern science that we have no clue at all. We just sort of exist and run with it. Isn't that one of those things that Dr. Carl used you as a lab rat for? I wasn't his... Oh, whatever. Uh-huh. We save those people's souls and this is what we get. Seriously though, we have no idea, so let's just settle with the... Uh... 
Magic. We're magical. Lots of things are magical around here. I mean, sometimes for no reason at all, random objects just come to life. And usually, all they get is just a pair of eyes or a mouth, and we just don't know why. Yeah, Mangostein was like that. Yep. And it can happen anywhere. Last week, a traffic light near our apartment came to life. But it kept freaking out and messing with the traffic, so a bunch of construction guys came over and took it down. Yeah. What do you think they did to it afterwards? Magic! <laughs> My magic, to be exact. So, this is for everyone at the casino. Have you all ever played Truth or Dare? And if so, what are some of the craziest things people have done or admitted? Since Cuphead's pranks are usually always so extreme, do any of you use it as a way to get back at him? Since I'm pretty sure he wouldn't say no to a dare ever. No, we haven't. But now that you mention it... Truth or dare? What are you, children? Alright, Cuphead. Truth or dare? Dare! Oh boy. I dare you to go outside shirtless and sing at the top of your lungs. Boy, what you gonna say uh, that game? Oh uh, boy, uh, what you gonna uh, say that game? Zellamon, Zellamon, and it's your Hey, hey, let me take that shot one time. <laughs> Somebody threw a shoe at me. <laughs> it was for a good cause. Then here's another good cause. I dare you to spend the rest of the game in a flapper dress. Wow. Ha, howdy fellas, how'd I look? Like I might bring this <laughs> entire business down just with that. Take the damn boots off. Truth or dare? Oh dare. Come on, let's step it up. I dare you to kiss Wheezy. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. No! You know half the game won't work. Nobody here will say the truth. Well, at least the other half is still entertaining. A kiss from Wheezy won't help his smoking addiction. Hey, Muggs. Truth or dare? Um... Dare, of course. I dare you to write a letter to Carla Maria, finally confessing to- Truth! 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 Alright, truth. <laughs> What would you say in a letter like that? What? Uh, I don't know. I, I don't really think about it that much. Truth. <sighs> Do you really not think about it, or are you lying? Hey, Cuphead. <laughs> Dare you to drink this demon-only bourbon. Won't that kill him? <laughs> <sighs> you know, it's not actually that bad. Huh? Not hey, dice, dice, dice! What? <laughs> I'm helping save your brother's love life over here. Truth or dear? Truth. Oh, like hell you're gonna say the actual truth. Still truth. Oh, come on. Fun. You know what? Dear. I dare you to raise my paycheck. And back to truth. All right, all right. How's this then? I dare you to spend the rest of the game with your head spun upside down. Well, how's this? <laughs> Happy now? <laughs> yes. All right. Your turn, Cuphead. Bring it on! Truth or dare, Cuphead? Look at me in the eyes. Truth or dare? <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't, you look too weird. You did this, Cuphead. Now look <laughs> me in the eyes. <laughs> dear, dear. All right, now listen up, because I, I am actually starting to feel sick. <laughs> All right, here's your dear. As you know, in the devil's office, there's a lift that goes deeper into hell. You will use it. Go down about four levels and then bring back some sort of proof of being there. How is he? D do you see him? Where is he right now? Oh, has he fallen down the pit yet? Is he gonna make oh, it? I, I don't know. I can't see. Oh, come on, man. Stink. We have to know if he's all right. Well under pressure. Can I flip my head back? <laughs> nah, -uh, game's not finished yet. <sighs> <laughs> Wait! I see him! I see him! <laughs> Guys! I see him! He's really close! <laughs> My proof is the devil! <laughs> what? Uh, what?